Hello and welcome to another Houdini quick tip. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how you could you can control your pirate simulation using curves in Houdini. So let's just create a grid and change the size to 2 by 2. Also maybe 100 by 100 resolution. Next I'm going to create a curve and let's go to the top view so i'm just going to create like a spiral shape for now this is just for test and change the type to nerves maybe i just move this point also here and use a resample so as you can see we can we have more detail along the curve maybe zero two and let me just create a null and call it curve now let's just use the pyrosop so maybe below a smoke and just delete the smoke source because we are going to use this grid <coughs> and this is the pyro simulation okay I'm just going to turn off the add noise because I just want to see the effect of the curve force so let's just turn it off and let's change some other settings one in solving i just want to remove the buoyancy and also in the shape i'm going to turn off the dissipation and disturbance so now now we only have the smoke just emitted in the same place so it doesn't move <coughs> and if i go inside the pyro solver now here <coughs> we can add all the gas fields as you can see here is already explained so we have a gas curve curve force if you use this one and connect it to the force output you only need to select your the curve so we already created here as you can see here is the visualization for the uh, this gas curve force so also you can just turn it off if you don't want to see it and it's better to just copy the voxel size and to the gas fourth phase also so here we have the force division size I'm just going to paste relative reference so let's just change some setting here I just want to be consistent from the beginning to end so just change the curves this is the the follow force so it's the the smoke is going to follow the curve and we have other forces is the follow the here is the suction scale this is the orbit and if you have already a velocity and curve you can just also add it here so i'm just going to revert everything to like a linear motion but as you can see you have a lot of control it's actually is like a pop uh, care force but you can use this gas care force to control the pyro simulation so and also velocity force fall off I just want to be consistent so everything is okay now just the global force here is the force along uh, the length so I'm just also going to change this one and the shaping here's the shaping is very nice so, so if you let me just keep it the, uh, the default value so i'm just going to play now as you can see we have very really nice effect so if i just remove this this one is going to affect the radius along the curve so this means uh how much effect you want from the beginning of the curve well, is going to affect a less radius and going up uh, thicker and thicker until to the end 
so <clears throat> now I'm just going to reset this one also so and also you have a lot of uh, op other option so this one is a global scale and also max influence radius let me just change the radius as you can see we have really nice effect so if if you you uh, you want to create a, some sort of like a tornado also you can use this one so you don't need to do the fancy <clears throat> expressions and stuff to uh, create the custom forces along the curve and also uh, do the math yourself so here is uh, this this note is uh, makes your life a lot easier so i just I hope you enjoyed this video this this was just a quick tip so you can just play along uh, the settings and you you can get really nice effects so thank you for watching